Yo my people, um, good afternoon, how are you? Um, I'm Jinaya, this is my first podcast uh, with my friend Tyrone Vanze. Negative to positive. Negative to positive, he's a boxing coach. Um, so yeah Ty, um, let's get into it man. So basically, I want to have a discussion about men's mental health, men's mental health, and where are you on that? Like, How do you feel? Like, How's your mental health? You know what I mean? How do you get through your days? How do you fight your demons? Do you know what? Like... I'm gonna be honest with you there, like I feel like boxing helps me with my mental health. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Training the endorphins. 100 percent 100 percent Yeah. Like yeah. I started boxing when I was 10 year old. Yeah. And I believe like every young man should have boxing in his life at some point because yeah. it discipline helps with the mental health, the discipline within it. Yeah. And routine. Think, exactly. But I feel yeah, like yeah. when you're in a when you when you're a boxer you learn to Yeah. It's not a team sport, do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. when when you have challenges yeah. You have to deal with them yourself and overcome yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the same within life. Which is in the same within mental health as well. 100%. Because when that mental health occurs, like you really have to deal with those demons yourself. You know what I mean? Like doctors and stuff really don't help, and you are dealing with yourself. So maybe when you've had your mental health problems, maybe in the past, anxiety, whatever it may be, the boxing has got you through that. Well, that's been my cure, hundred percent. Yeah, I think Tyson Fury can vouch for that. Yeah. Um, I think a lot more men out there can vouch for that. They yeah. use like boxing, and even if not boxing, just yeah. like the gym, staying fit, running, like look, exercise, I, like, get them endorphins flying. Hundred percent, like, because I'm yeah. sorry, just quit you there, job, but like, I've had my down days, and sometimes I don't even know I'm in that place. But yeah. as soon as I go to the gym, say I'll have a little spa with man, something like that. Yeah, I come out of there and I feel refreshed. Yeah, and I feel like rah. I was in a bad place, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can tell you. you feel the difference within yourself, you feel better, like you yeah. you want to do more with your day. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like obviously like my background is like obviously you had your boxing, obviously like, I grew up really up on the street all the way and I feel that's what really affected me and uh, caused my, you know, problems and that paranoia now to this day and stuff like that. But um, when I've trained with you and I have done the boxing, when I started maybe what two and a half years ago now, like you that. were really good and it really did help me, bro. It really does. And even to this day, if I bring you and I book a session and I come in, so I just like to thank you for that at the same time, bro. Because yeah, obviously bro. you don't even understand. That's not you, bro. you don't That's even not understand you. how much. Even when my legs got done and we was in the ring with the cage on. You get me, bro? Like hard work and yeah. dedication got us yeah. through. And all them, you know, them, you know, you go through dark times and this and that, bro. But well, I believe like when you, when it comes to friends as well, especially yeah. when you're in bad places. Yeah. Like they say, steel sharp and steel. Yeah. I feel like shit, friends sharp and friends. Yeah. You need to have the right people the right around people you around because you. if you've got people around you, I think that 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 to take advantage of your mental health. It's the right energy, really. I feel like yeah. if you're in a bad place and you've got yeah. a lot of negative energy around you, it's not going to yeah. help you. So yeah. you surround yourself with good people. Yeah. And I believe good things will come from it. Hundred percent. You know bro. what I mean? But going back to it now, so like when you were saying you were younger. And like obviously you've been on the street, you didn't really have your mind wasn't really going, you didn't really have nowhere to put the energy. Yeah, yeah, I had, so, I had no like no drive, no yeah, goal, yeah. no nothing. Yeah, yeah. So would you say like if you if a boxing had been introduced to you earlier on in life, that you'd have been a different person today, do you think? Maybe so bro, but I have to like I think for me it was coming up in it, like my friends, like it's like we were just saying in it, my circle bro. Because the circle I had was just no good really you get me mm. committing crimes from just even if i had boxing i probably still because i went to the boxing gym once but then i chose to go and chill out with dickheads yeah i've put been it, there put, it, the same put thing. it politely dickheads and then obviously went to jail when i was 14 you know different different jails whatever not proud of that or glorifying nothing like that it's just that's that's what happened that's the it, road bro. you took yeah that's the road i took bro well, that, that, that makes you who you are today don't give me wrong like look. yeah if I haven't stood to boxing all my life, yeah. um, obviously I started boxing when I was 10 years old, 32 now. Yeah. Um, there's times when I drifted away from boxing. Yeah. And where, obviously, like you said, the streets call you. Yeah. When you're on, when you're growing up on a state, I grew up on a state called Ravenscliff. Yeah. Which was a white state. It'd been like one of the only black families on there. Yeah. I bet you had a lot of trouble in it, a lot of fights in it. Yeah. And even that affects your mental health because, bro, even at that young age, you don't understand. But yeah. when, when you know those all them guys that, obviously, white guys, when you're growing up on that estate as a young man, and, and obviously they might be a bit racist or whatever, it, it, you're mentally, bro, you must be thinking, right, I need to go out and back this. I need to go out and fight these. I need to go out and show that I'm strong. That's well, still in your mind, like, you don't realise that it's still taking a little toll. I just don't think anybody think? wants to be a victim. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think anybody wants to be a victim. Yeah, true. Um, I think everybody's got too much pride, too much ego in it. I think that's, you know what it is? Yeah. They say pride gets you killed, innit? Yeah, yeah, true. Uh, and I don't, like, that's what boxing teaches you. Like, I know if you mm. come across a lot of boxers, you yeah. don't really have that ego. A lot of people, you'll be yeah, in the Yeah, humble, street. innit? Humble. Yeah, very humble yeah. guys, like, you, because we know what we're capable of. Yeah. And we don't need to put that yeah, but, out there in the streets. Yeah, but I, I understand that. I understand that, bro, yeah. But, like, still, like, do you feel that, like, what I'm trying to say to you is, like, do you think that any of this stuff, like, affected, like, the way you are now? Like, the way it, like, moulded you, you know, like... What, the boxing-wise? Like, even, like, mentally, like... Yeah, 100%, because, like, the boxing, um... It's strategy, in it? So, you, it yeah. teaches you strategy as well. It's like a game yeah. of chess. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Discipline. Yeah. You know, even to control your emotions, like, yeah. when, you, when I first time I've been a because kid. Because what, what I'm trying to get at is, obviously, with the mental health, some people's emotions, they'll go all over the place. Yeah, and because that's what you, you have no control. Attacks. That's what it is. That's no control of your emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, when I'm in a boxing ring, if I get a punch in the nose, I remember being a kid, when I first took a punch, I just wanted to flip and just rah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, Lose yeah. my head. Yeah. But as you... As you go through the training, yeah, you learn. Okay, I take that punch. Yeah. Okay, you got yours. I'm gonna give you mine. Yeah. Control the emotions and yeah. use it strategically. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what, can... what what advice could you give to someone like what I'm trying to get at is like what advice could you give to a young man that right now is struggling with the mental health, the bro, the paranoid, they can't sleep, they've got anxiety. They've got suicidal thoughts, you know. Do you know what? Maybe get even out, attempted get out, it. Get out. What I know advice could you give? I know it seems hard and you might be in a bad place, but the first thing is just get out there and give it a go, man. Go, yeah. into, go into your local gym. Go to your local boxing gym. Go do something. Get out there, have yeah. a workout. And even if you feel like mm. you, you don't want to do it alone, see yeah. someone like myself, get a PT, get a boxing coach, yeah. speak to them. Like, yeah. I call myself a boxing coach because... Yeah. We're here to help coach you, not physically but mentally as well. Yeah. So, 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 obviously, so look, they're struggling. They've they've got suicidal thoughts and all that. So basically, the advice to them is get to the gym, get out, get out there. Don't think about it too much. Don't worry about it. Try get some discipline in your life, some routine in your life, and 100%. it might just help your mental health. Because look, I struggle myself with mental health every day. I've been to the doctor this morning shouting at him that I need more medication. This is just a fact, yeah. And the, the way but I get through it... would you say is the way forward? No, though. medication, not the way forward, but sometimes when you get so, so far lost in your thoughts, you just need someone to ease, ease that, that. Do you know what I'm I saying? I understand that. But, I like, for that. me, look, routine, bro. Like, look, I've, I've already trained this morning. I'm going to train with you this afternoon. You know what I mean? So I'm keeping busy. Inshallah. I'm keeping in routine. And, and that's what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, so that's the advice. If you're struggling out there, you know, it's coming from a boxing coach. Make sure you get been through it. And just get active, man, and stay focused. Like Everyone can do it, don't matter where. What's, what what's the saying? What's, what's the thing? Hard work, dedication. Yes, yes. That is the key. Yes. I need everyone to see. Yes. Hard work, dedication.